Well, that was a that was a most unlike Brentford performance in the first half, considering other performances I've seen from you here, from your side here. Mind you, Arsenal are very, very good at the moment. Uh, I think Arsenal are very good at the moment, um, and I think uh, all the game, I think they want uh, to show really. uh, You can't can't question that. I think actually, for me, the performance was not that it was not ten out of ten, and we need to beat. Um, uh, a team like um, like Arsenal, we we need to hit a 10 out of 10 uh, performance, and Arsenal need to drop a, a, a tiny bit. Uh, that didn't happen today, but the performance I think would have caused a lot of uh, teams in the Premier League uh, trouble, uh, and we would have got a win or a draw uh, out of what we did today. Uh, obviously, when you play against uh, a team of Arsenal's um, quality, we can't give away the set piece. Uh, goal uh, and we can't give away the second one uh, that's why we need to do it a, a bit better in those two situations besides that I think we did a, a lot of good things um, third uh, second half the third goal you know we're saying of course one goal here we know can change momentum in the game uh, get the crowds with us uh, going forward and then you know they show why they are a big club um, they lost their captain Udegaard top player just replaced him with a 35 million euros or pounds or whatever player that decided to curl in from uh, 22, 24 yards, and then uh, it was it was game over. So they they showed their quality in the right moments. You could see how how big a game it was for um, uh, for Arsenal. Uh, the way they celebrated with the huddle uh, in the first goal, you noticed that. So mm-hmm. definitely, I don't know what they said, but I just um, assuming. Um, and Jesus going down with cramp, uh, a player that is normally running uh, uh, around for fun. So they put a lot of effort into it, showed us a lot of respect. Uh, but in the end, of course, they won the fair and square, and uh, they showed why I said before the game that I think they're title contenders. They were right at you from the start, weren't they? Those first five minutes, ten minutes, right at you, which is again a little bit unlike Arsenal have been against. Certainly, unlike they were here against you last year when you were front foot. Yeah, but you can't compare. It's 15 months ago. Uh, it's, yeah, and even if it was one week later, uh, you know, every game is a new history. Every game is a new new story. But it would be quite stupid of them if there wasn't front foot against us. Because that's what you normally do, don't you? Normally, in, in the opposition faces, pressing, pressing, pressing. Yeah, yeah. But but uh, as I said to you, I actually think we did that uh, today as well. I think in many ways, I think it's the narrative. If you look at the game, it's three 0 and they scored three good goals. But I think we did actually a lot of good things right. So if you look the game back, convince you, see, okay, this is actually a lot of the right things doing. We, we did right, uh, right. But today, Arsenal are better, and uh, they showed a bit of quality. Is Ivan Tony okay? Did he pick up a little bit of a knot late on? Is he, is he okay to go off with England? Yeah, I hope so. I have not anything, so I, I hope so. And um, all the attention has been on him this week. Ivan Tony for England. Ivan Tony for England. No one's talked about Brian Mbumo for Cameroon. This is a big, big week for him as well, and he deserves that, doesn't he? Oh yeah, 100%. Uh, so pleased for him uh, that he got that. For both of them, of course, uh, that they got all the call-up. We are, we are proud of all our players that get uh, uh, the call-up for, for the, for, to play for their country. Uh, yeah, a, a, a big big week for him and I uh, hope we will do well. So it means a strange two weeks for you now, doesn't it? Because while well, you have got no action, your players are away maybe picking up injuries. It's a weird time for a manager this, isn't it? Yeah, it, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit... Okay, it is what it is. You know, they're going away. Uh, they play for the countries. I'm, I'm actually a big fan of uh, the national uh, team football uh, in general. So um, I expect and hope they'll come back fit. And finally, as we hit this first official pause, then the first international break of, of, of the season, are you happy with where you are at Brentford Football Club right now? Yeah, I think we have done. I think we have done well. I think. Um, I think we played seven games. I think overall we performed well in all seven games, and it's about that consistency. And sometimes it pays off, and it uh, it's a four 0 win, and it looks a little bit uh, even more fantastic than it is against Man United. And then we lose three uh, 0 uh, to Arsenal, and look a little bit worse than it actually is. Uh, you know, regarding also your question, I don't think it was that bad. I think Arsenal was better. So, but it's about the consistency week in, week out in performance, and that's what I think we do.